Hey y'all, welcome to the Rob Squad's Home Theater. We are so excited to be getting into another flick with you guys. If you're new here, we'll start with introducing ourselves. You're here with your girl Amber. And your boy Jay. And it seems like we're getting into something. I'm excited about this. Alright, we're checking out the Planet of the Apes. This is a film that or a franchise that we've heard a lot about. So many of you suggested it and we're ready to check it out. This is definitely one that I have heard of. Just never had the time to sit down and watch yeah. it until we've started this uh, movie reaction channel. But we're super excited to dive into it. I personally, I love apes. I love monkeys and gorillas. This all started when I was in college. I did that uh, humanitarian paper over uh, Jane Goodall. You were obsessed. I, I had to read like two of her books, and I've been obsessed with it ever since. So this one here, I'm really excited to jump into. But before we get into it, make sure you guys like the video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. We always tell you guys before we start, grab your favorite drink, your favorite snack, and your blanket. We're ready to jump into it. And if y'all see uh, our, our dog, head our dog up. got, or our dog, our daughter's got a new little puppy, and we can't leave her downstairs. So she's right here sitting on Amber's lap. So if y'all hear any, win win. Any any little howls, maybe we'll try to edit it out. But if y'all hear, <laughs> that's what it is. We're ready to check it out. Planet of the Apes, 1968. Let's get it. Let's go. be joining them so in less than an hour we'll finish our six months out of cape Kent. six months in deep space by our time that is according to dr hasline's theory of time and a view you see the difference on earth it's been three months up there it's been seven since we left it oh we've aged hardly at all oh you can smoke in space that's about it Tell me, though, does man, that marvel of the universe, that glorious paradox who sent me to the stars, still make war against his brother? Can you imagine how much different the world would be in 700 years and it's only six months to you? Year 20, it's a 2673. Mm -hmm. Imagine just going to sleep while you're in the middle of space. It's not like you're on a boat, you could throw an anchor out mm -hmm. at least. <laughs> See, I'm too wild of a sleeper. I couldn't be. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be seat belted in. And they're in deep space. I don't think we're going to know any of these names. No. 68. I think it's also kind of obvious we've been a little obsessed with space lately, too, because it has. of the films that we've pulled on the channel, like, to, to watch from their suggestions. But also the solar eclipse happening soon. That's mm. very interesting. And then I've mentioned a few times that that telescope that they had come out a few months back was so cool. The pictures it captures is awesome. Arrival, that movie was a trip. Man, I loved Arrival. <laughs> the name Rod Serling sounds familiar. What's happening? Oh, they're crashing. I think that this was before CGI. Yeah, they had to do that effect of a crash with the camera. At least they landed in water. They've aged. Whoa, he has a beard. You're right. They all have beards, so how long were they asleep? Longer hair. Stuart? Stuart. What? Why did she? What happened to her? Oh. Also the sound effect when they sh the sound effect when they showed her body. Where the soap? She's sinking! Die! Read the atmosphere! I don't understand why they just grew beards and she just was like Well they landed right in the middle of that lake, didn't they? Land a 
desert. It's it, but it, look at all the water. It's an interesting climate, yeah? Up the rock. The end's okay! Throw the hat or we lose all the power! And did you hear him say the air is okay? If he said the air is okay, then they're on another planet. I would be afraid if the water would be okay mm -hmm. to be, or, you know, to jump in. Oh wait, so this is Earth that they return to. When he's shows checking the air quality. Going. Going. Gone. Okay, we're here to stay. You got no <laughs> choice now. Can't get it off. Right? And they got like no radio signal, nothing. They have no clue where they're at, even at. But I mean, radio signal may not do them any good. And what was it, 39 something? Do you have any notions, Skipper? We're some 320 light years from Earth on an unnamed planet in uh -huh. orbit around us, a constellation of orbit. So it is a different planet. It could be Bellatrix. It's too white for Bellatrix. You didn't have time to read the tapes. So you really don't know, do you? What went wrong? You weren't programmed to land in the water. The question is not so much where we are as when we are. Yeah, that's the real question. Start earning all that back pay. On a flimsy little raft. Dodge, run your soil test. Got your senses? He's tested the air, the water, and now he's tested the soil. 20 rounds ammo, a medical kit, TX9, and water enough for three days. How long is a day? That's a good question. Landon! Hey, Landon! Join the expedition. He's rather calm about being stranded on another planet. What do you suppose happened? Air leak. She died in her sleep. You don't seem very cut up about it. A little late for her wake. She's been dead nearly a year. That means we've been away from Earth for 18 months. Hard time. You've gone gray. So they slept for that long without knowing? No dangerous ionization? No. Well, if there's no life here, we've got just 72 hours to find it. That's when the groceries run. Let's go. Which direction? That way. Any particular reason? None at all. Would you be scared walking into an unknown planet oh, and thinking? Oh, thank you. Let's go see if there's any life for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that turned into a creepy laugh. That's a little weird. They could be in the middle of nowhere. Because it there's like he days. said nothing could grow there. You look, there's this on rock. The background music in this I movie. Know. Having no sense of direction, not knowing where you're going. Exactly. Or what you're heading into. Everybody all right? Water check. Eight ounces. It doesn't add up. Thunder and lightning and no rain. Yeah, I noticed that. Yet there's no moon. If we could just get a fix. What would that tell you? I've told you where you are and when you are. All right, all right. You're 300 light years from your precious planet. Your loved ones are dead and forgotten for 20 centuries. That's crazy. Well, why would you want to go on that mission? Oh, in the glory, don't forget that. There's a life-size bronze statue of you standing out there somewhere. It's probably turned green by now. Nobody can read the nameplate. But never let it be said that we forget our heroes. I want you to climb off my back. And there's one last item. <laughs> and one last thing. One more thing. Well, you damn near made it. Except for me and Doc. Longer than anyone ever born. And with our lovely Lieutenant Stewart dead, looks like you're the last of the line. You got what you wanted, Tiger. How does it taste? Mm. Dang. 
You're no seeker. You're a negative. And I'm not prepared to die. I'd like to know why not. You thought life on Earth was meaningless. You despise people. So what'd you do? You ran out. No, it's not like that, Les. But my dreams aren't like yours. I can't help thinking somewhere in the universe there has to be something better than man. Has to be. Taylor, over here! They finally found something. What is it? Life. Life. It's a, it's a plant. Oh. So life can be here. There's another, and another, and another. Let's find him. Looks like they can be walking. They only have food for three. Walked this far and have only found one plant. I think that one they see on the ground was the second one. It's like people are watching them. The acid music is killing mm -hmm. me. You didn't see the people, other people? No, yeah. I... Oh, yeah, I definitely see. There's a few people. Skipper! Look! that mean? I ain't going near it. Yeah. Let's see. Because now they know somebody's definitely there. Yeah, I'm definitely not walking towards those. Hell with a scarecrow. Oh, and those are pretty big, too. Oh, yeah, I'm sprinting to that. how much of a relief that is for them. Oh, I'm sure. Find water. Space shuttle for so long. Taylor, look at this. That's not their footprints. Taking all their stuff. Yeah. Oh, so now they're going to walk with no clothes. And they don't know what they're walking into. stuff up. Mm -hmm. They didn't leave much, did they? Oh, wow, there's a lot of people. Oh, it's actual people. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Well, at least they haven't tried to bite it. Blessed are the vegetarians. They look more or less human. I think they're mute. It's 
like cavemen again. They're eating raw corn. You're supposed to be the optimist. Look on the bright side. This is the best they've got around here. In six months, we'll be running this planet. Uh-oh. Uh all of a sudden, they all noticed him. Run away. Yeah, I'm following them. Yeah? Uh, they're running for a reason. They did, too. Look. They're scared. Oh. Oh. They got guns. They ride horses. So the people are the animals, and the monkeys are like. Oh right, he said the they're symbolized. they're mute. So the apes are superior. Oh, they're definitely capturing him. Just throwing him in a net like those aren't people. This is nuts. First of all, how did they get control? Like, how did they get the weapons? Well, I was not expecting that. You see the bodies? They're treating people like how people treat animals. That's wicked. They have carriages. And... Like how you'd hang up a deer? Pictures with them. It's smile just like it. <laughs> 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 like their bounty of oh, look at their house. So yeah, doctor monkey doctors and everything. I don't know. This beast has lost a lot of blood. There's no probe here. Find one. Yes, sir. This place is dirty, Doctor. Doctor, these animals are dirty. They stink, and they carry communicable diseases. Uh. Brain surgery are being laid right here in studies of cerebral functions of these animals. They're still dirty, Doctor. Did she say brain surgery? Mm-hmm. How's our patient today? No change. The minute you open the door, he goes into his act. Well, do we want something? Come on, speak. Come on. Speak. Do we want some sugar, old timer? Hmm? Trying to get them to speak and talk. Is our throat feeling better? Still hurts, doesn't it? See? He keeps pretending he can talk. That bright eyes is remarkable. He keeps trying to form words. You know what they say. Human see, human do. <laughs> now what? He seems to want something. I'd be careful, doctor. What I tell you? I'll try it again and I'll break your arm! Good morning, Your Excellency. Dr. Zayas. He can't talk because he got shot in the throat. Mm -hmm. Open up, please. I'm so glad you could come. Sir, he's over here. Bright eyes. Show him. Go ahead. Do your trick. Speak. Go on. Do your trick. Score on a Hopkins manual dexterity test. An animal? He's moving his fingers. Only because he saw you moving yours. Oh, but perhaps he understood. Man has no understanding. He can be taught a few simple tricks, nothing more. That's literally what we mm -hmm. 
how he acts. Of a study of man, it's sheer nonsense. As man is a nuisance. He eats up his food supplies in the forest, then migrates to our green belts and ravages our crops. The sooner he is exterminated, the better. It's a question of simian. The thing is, he can hear him and understand him. Mm -hmm. I've got a present for you. <laughs> that is it. Put her in with him. Like another experiment. Uh, he's like, all right, cool. He's cool with this one. He definitely still looks good. Cornelius, uh, up here. Do you have to work tonight? No. Neither do I. What I was telling you about. What's so special about him? The reversal is so crazy in this. Do I? The role reversal is so mm, crazy. No, it's weird. Port of course. I hope I may count on. Cornelius, a friendly warning. Dig for artifacts. Be sure you don't bury your reputation. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah! Fight. He might not be ready for. <laughs> Goodness. Side. Cornelius. Now, didn't we see his other friends get captured? The other I astronauts? Like hmm. I thought we saw the other astronauts get captured, too. Where are they at? One got shot. What happened? Oh, those fools and their talk. Do you have any ointment? I'll see. I'm sorry, Bright Eyes. <laughs> Julius! <laughs> Dang. Don't, don't, don't! It doesn't matter! Julius, just swinging. Natural born thieves, aren't they? Get me a collar and leash. Taking him out of here. He's vicious, Doctor. Besides, it's against the rules. Do as I say! This is like a big discovery, right? Mm -hmm. That humans can write. Dear, you're a sign. Don't you believe your own eyes? Where did you learn to do this? Jefferson Public School. Very civilized. They're gonna start freaking out now. Indiana. Back on that planet you say you came from? Uh-huh. Doesn't believe it. Not fell, flew. Flight is a scientific impossibility. And even if it weren't, why fly? Where would it get you? That's a new concept. You have maps. Scientist kind of believes now. Mm -hmm. We used to go to talk to the big blonde orange oh, orangutan yes, looking thing. About him. Uh, <clears throat> we're here. You were captured here. You fell into the water here? You yep. came ashore, marched across the desert, mountains, many days and nights. <laughs> He's fed up. And she's so intrigued. Why do you insist on provoking? No creature can survive in the Forbidden Zone. I know, I've been there, I've seen it. Then how do you account for me? <laughs> what about your theory? The existence of someone like Taylor might prove it. Sarah, do you want to get my head chopped off? Don't be foolish. If it's true, they'll have to accept. <laughs> no, they won't. It's alternate universe. He discovered tracing culture older than recorded time. Evidence was very meager. That was before Dr. Zayas and half of the Academy said that my idea was heresy. How can scientific truth... How can you not believe it? It's funny, though, that she said they believed that they evolved from a lower form, mm. which was man. Between the unevolved primate and the ape. Touchy, isn't he? <laughs> I am not a missing link. Well, if you were a missing link, the sacred scrolls wouldn't be worth their parchment. Maybe they're not. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I'm not going to get into that battle. <laughs> now we both have fine futures, stimulating careers. I'm up for a raise. Don't mess this up for me. Uh, yes, sir, but, but this feature is a, is a special case. We're conducting a, a new experiment. That more properly be done in your office? Yes, sir. God, return this beast to the compound. Dang. Like a muzzle on him almost. 
A toy floats on the air. A theory. Try it. Nonsense. He wants to keep things, though. He didn't even see that it had writing on it, I believe. He didn't seem to even want to ask questions, really. Not ones that mattered. Five minutes. Have him ready. How come? The beast's throat's nearly healed. Got his throat this time. The vet's going to geld him. Dr. Zero won't like it. She wants that pair to make. These orders come from Dr. Zayas That's himself. why they threw There's her in the cage. There's nothing she can do like about it. How at zoos they make the animals mate. Just mm. put them in the cage. If only you knew what they're going to do. <laughs> Stay still now. Don't give me any trouble. <laughs> Dang. Oh. If you must, but make an end of sorrow. He lives again, found peace in heaven. He was a model him. for us all, a gorilla to remember. A gorilla to remember. Defender of the faith, cherished husband, beloved father, generous master, yes. He was a font of simian kind. The dear de Is that a kid? Look at it, it's getting you. Never met an ape I didn't like. Look, it's a man! Push him out the way. Catch him! Catch him! This is kicking him. Oh, not interrupting the funeral. Hey, like, it looks like it's like in medieval type times, too. It's crazy. Grabbing by that throat. What were they? What procedure were they got to do on him, anyways? But if they're gonna do some type of surgery on you, I I wouldn't ask. Yeah, where I'm, I'm I just out go. It's like a museum on humans. <laughs> That's oh, him. His buddy. That's him. <laughs> They're a bit brutal, aren't they? <laughs> Jump on one of them horses. He's dead. Oh, they got him. It was a valiant effort. Security police. I'm in charge of the custody of the Ministry of Science. Take your sticking paws off, damn dirty ape. He can talk again. D take your stinking paw, and then what a sentence to start your with. Stinking paws off you me, you dang dirty darn ape. dirty ape. No one will listen to me. Only you. Because <laughs> she can't talk to you. She can only listen to you. You know the. Just shut your mouth. What are you doing? Hosing him down so he can't get there and take make sure they can't take her. Where are you taking her? Oh, they're separating them again. Yeah, they separated them. Go! Shut up, you freak! Julia Hugh! I said shut up! It's a man house! A man house! I mean, you already feel bad for how animals are treated, but now it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a perspective switch. Because there was no one to hold. Did I tell you about Stuart? There, there was a lovely girl. The most precious cargo we brought along. She was to be the new Eve with our hot and eager help. Course. That's what she was there for? You're not as smart as Stuart, but you're the only girl in town. <laughs> Flattering. Look at that. I, I touched her smile. 
Now they're back to bully some more. But if aliens crashed out on our planet, that's how the, that's how they would be treated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not necessarily so friendly. And in a sense, he's crashed down on a foreign planet, like an alien crash. I'm still thinking it gets your stinky hands off mm. me. Why are the higher up ones like orange? They have great hair, don't they? Nice hair. It's been weeks. What happened? Where have you been? Why didn't you come see me? What is this? Be clever. Be quiet. All right! Well, they've even got a justice system. And appearing for the state, Dr. Honore, Deputy Minister of Justice. Hey, you had instruction. Clean up the beast. Bags he's wearing give off a stench that's offensive. Dignity of this trip. Oh, they got him just exposed. That's humiliating. He's being disposed of. It is scientific heresy that tried here. Scientific well put, Dr. Zayat. Let us warn our friend that they endanger their own careers. Sorry, sometimes the mask of the apes kind of get me the way their mouth. And a corrupt surgeon named Galen experimented on this wounded animal, bring with his brain and throat tissues. Really? To, to try to... That's a lie! Debunk her saying that they evolved. Turn this hearing into a farce. Tell the court, Bright Eyes, what is the second article of faith? I know nothing of your culture. I, I admit that. Of course, he doesn't know our culture because he cannot think. What? He just formed a whole sentence. He answered a question. Tell us, Bright Eyes, why do men have no soul? What is the proof that a divine spark exists in the simian brain? Huh? He thinks they have no souls. <sighs> thinks it is stupid. But he can't answer questions on science and... Of ape science. Uh, yeah, yeah, and articles... Statement be read into the record. No, Apricornis, read it. I have uh, come to you from planet in a different solar system. I am an explorer in space. Stop right there. Yeah, I yeah, don't like to get the information out. <laughs> this is a joke and very poor taste. Oh come my on. gosh! Man, this is yeah. Because it goes against their beliefs. You can't explain it, right? True, Doctor Zayas. Uh, well, I suggested we. Go oh, take a look at them. These These orange dudes are corrupt. Mm -hmm. they, they want to stay in power. With any of these creatures? With one of them, yes. Yeah. Identify him then. Speak to him. Let. Let. They operated on him. Oh, they cut him. Oh, my God. I swear, I never saw this man before. Cut up his brain, you bloody baboon! Cut him! He's fierce, right? Like, he's still gonna try to attack that mm. man when he knows he's got all these people. Oh, he's gonna so he's the last of mm -hmm. the people that were on the ship. He ever speak. You did that to him, damn you! You cut out his memory! You took his identity and that's what you want to do to me! Egg the animal! Damn you! That's what he wants to do to him. Yes, sir, that is true, thanks to you. But not before I discovered evidence of a simian culture that existed long before the sacred scrolls were written. Objection! These remarks are profane! Uh-oh. Uh-huh, they don't want that out. Well, let us assume common sense dictate this new story is false if he did not come from another planet then surely he sprang from our own yes sprang as an animal i mean that's true if he didn't come from another planet where right. he's got to come from here sustain their speech organs are adequate law lies not in anatomy but in the brain objection sustain sustain so he doesn't want humans to learn to talk she said they can Wow. Disposition. You realize what that means? Emasculation to begin with. Then experimental surgery on the speech centers, on the brain. Eventually a kind of living death. Oh, no. What about it? A fault. Unconsciously you chose a name that was belligerent. Where were you nurtured? You don't believe that prosecutor's charge. Monster created by Dr. Zip. Certainly not. Yeah, because he's interesting to know if he... 
Who leads with? Forbidden soul. I don't know. If you're trying to protect others of your kind, it'll cost you your identity. I'm not protecting anyone. This whole thing is insane. What have I done? They should be learning from him, not mm. trying to get rid of him. Well, the other two wanted to learn from him. After that, I shall use surgery to obtain one. You can cut pieces out of me. You've got the power. Hand this creature to his cage. But you do it out of fear. Remember that! Remember that! You're afraid of me! What are you afraid of, Doctor? And that is the good question. Like, what are they so afraid of? This abduction was her right. You're not really going to the zoo. That's just our story in case somebody stops us. Get me out of this. We've got to move fast. It's a long too. Zero doesn't. He fell in love with her. Mm -hmm. If you insist, but I'm not taking any orders. All right, come on, let's go. Yeah, how are they gonna do it without getting caught? I feel like there's always guards. Though. Yeah, there's a lot. I told you there not to is. bring the other one. Oh, all right, come on. Him done got him a little monkey woman. Well, Taylor, we're all fugitives now. Any weapons, any guns? But we won't need them. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> uh, give me one of those anyways. Yeah, he didn't say thank you or anything. Jungle beyond the forbidden zone. Try for that. What about you? Cornelius and I have been indicted. Unless we can prove our theories, we don't stand a chance of acquittal. So they're all on the run. Claim you landed from that planet of yours. Still don't believe me. It's a long detour to Dead Lake. What would we find? Nothing much. Empty rubber life raft, maybe a little flag, the emblem of my countrymen. Mm, they did put a little flag up. We better get started. If the Mounted Police pick up our trail, they'll come this far at least. Let's get the water and provisions into the wagon. Well, this is definitely close. That's what those things were. It's an ancient taboo, forth in the sacred scroll. The lawgiver for the whole area deadly. Shouldn't we be moving on? Time for that. I wonder why the whole area is considered uh. deadly. Why did you do that? Creep off your hair. I would when I left it on the kids your age. <laughs> Beards? I don't go in for that. Somehow, it makes you look less intelligent. <laughs> When will you show me what's in that cave? Right now, if you like. But his ship is gone, right? How in the world would he even plan on getting back to his planet? No, I don't. You there was no plan on coming back to the planet in the first place. If there's any more shooting, Dr. Zayas, she'll be the first to go. You can count on it. Taylor, you are not in command here. Put down that gun. Shut up. <laughs> Taylor ain't listen to nobody. Draw your weapon. Tell him to pull back around the rock. Out of range. Withdraw! He's a tailor, so we're gonna do it my way now. Except that he's also chief defender of the faith. There is no contradiction between mm. faith and science. True science. How can he run both? Tell the whole truth of your history. If they can find some real evidence, another culture from some remote past. Will you let them off? Of course. Let's go up to the cave. So his answer to freedom is in that cave. Stay here and guard the camp. Always giving orders, just like every other adult. Relax. You'll get to see it all later on. What are they about to find? I still want to know why the humans on this planet can't speak. Primates. She said that they they have all the inner workings to be able to speak, they just don't. You begin with your methods of dating the past to crude, to say the least. And a geologist from my staff would laugh at your speculation. I don't trust his staff. The doll was found beside the jawbone of a man. And no trace of simian fossil has been found in this. Your conclusion is premature. Have you forgotten your scripture? The thirteenth scroll? He's trying to excuse science with his. You say these things were found at the same level as that doll? Whoever owned him must have been in pretty bad shape. He wore false teeth and eyeglasses. He had a failing heart. Towards the end, prefabricated valve. Oh, very advanced. That's proof. Dr. Zayas, would an ape make human doll that talks? Lucius! You dirty! Nova! He was about to... He was about to get him. Nova! Got him. Mm-hmm. There's just gonna be more. Cornelius, help me! He gonna leave it there and call him crazy. 
Up there. Withdraw! Get down. They gotta take that doll back. What's happened to honor? I got off two rounds to warn you. They've taken everything. Not quite everything. They left a hostage behind. Mm. Disillusion, but can't trust the older generation. He said it. He's fed up with the older generation, this whole movie. What if they won't agree to your turn? Tell them I'll shoot him. Taylor, you can't. Ah, yes, he can. He's a born killer. Deliver the message. Over here. So humans were there before him, them, and they were more civilized to a mm -hmm. point. Taylor, please, don't treat him like that. It's humiliating. The way I was humiliated. He was. They made him mm -hmm. stand bare butt. It was a fair bet. But we can't be sure. He is. He knew all the time, long before you found your cave. Defender of the safe. Guardian of the... Mm -hmm. He kills for sport, or lust, or greed. Yea, he will murder his brother to possess his brother's land. Let him not breed in great numbers, for he will make a desert of his home. Oh, he's talking about just the human population. I must say, I agree. Where will you go? Start with, I'll follow the shoreline and my nose. Suppose you find nothing but, but a wasteland. How will you survive? He won't survive. So his plan is just to take off with his lady. I mean, he can't fly up out of there. Remember, never trust anybody over... Th <laughs> Doctor, I'd like to kiss you goodbye. All right. You're so damned ugly. <laughs> <laughs> that shook her to her core. Made a desert of it oh. ages ago. It still doesn't give me the why. Planet where apes evolved from men? There's got to be an answer. Don't look for it, Taylor. You may not like what you find. I want the answer. No, no, no! Wait! Let him go! Lieutenant, fetch your explosive. We're going to seal up the cave. Yes, sir! They're gonna get rid of the, in, all that info. But the proof! A few minutes, there will be no That's They're can't so I'm sorry. Oh, dirty. You with no pleasure. Silence him. Doctor? Oh, Doctor Zane. Inexcusable. I must knowledge stand still. What about the future? I may just have saved him. They think mankind would ruin the rest of the planet. <laughs> there goes all that information. They really blew that up. Just keeps going and going. I, was like, I don't know where he planned on going. Found something, didn't he? That looks like the top of a Statue of Liberty. It does. Doesn't it? What if this is Earth? This whole time it's been Earth. Yeah, he's mad at humanity now. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's the future. His debt, yeah. He was gone for that many years for the world to be completely turned around. And he says he's going to go find his destiny. Is that like... This is your home. The only reason he, they were still speaking is because they were gone when whatever happened. That, that was good. That was a that good was movie. That was great. I, I, can't, I, I love I, the way it ended. I, I love the way it ended. I can't wait to watch the rest of them. I, I don't know how many there are, but I'm in. I'm into it. No, I am as well. So like I said, this one, you know, just to start off the whole Planet of the Apes, I, I, th I thought it was pretty cool. I, the whole time, I th we thought they were somewhere else. Yeah. And then, like you said, Lisa told him to let him go. He's going to find his destiny for him to go realize that... He was that far in the future, and that was his used to be. And home. what they said, right, uh, in the scroll that he had them pull from his pocket, that about that the man, words yeah. about man, about what they are, and then knowing that we destroyed our our kind, basically our planet, and then somehow I want to know like how the forbidden land was the rest yeah, of the U.S. The which forbidden they, they destroyed. The forbidden land was destroyed because I mean you see how humans can yeah. wreck an environment. So wow, like, cool crazy twist. cool, y'all, crazy and, and then, cool. 
from the very start, it was weird to see the dynamic of like humans being the pet. I know, it put a lot of things into perspective, didn't it? No doubt about it. But thank you guys so much for that. As we always send y'all out of here every single day, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every day that you guys wake up, it is a blessing in that you are blessed. And for your new family members, to hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you guys to the RSR family, but y'all have a go every day just like we do. Let them know, Ma. All right, y'all, let's just go out in this world today and make somebody smile. We love y'all. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.